In this high performance teaching video, we want to isolate the closed two-handed backhand stance and look at the issues that come from it, the problems associated with it, and how to fix it. First of all, I want you to see that in an open stance or a neutral stance, which a neutral would be if Liz stepped to here, they both share the same contact point relative to the feet, relative to the body, and it's about right here. Now, if I ask Liz to keep her hands right where they are, but change the footwork to being fully closed, you can now see that her contact point, what was her contact point, now turns into the backswing. So for her to find a contact point that works for this stance, she has to reach all the way to the very end of her swing. She's now having to make contact. Look, she's already losing her balance. She's having to make contact at the end of the swing. Very limited shot options from there. Now, what we want to do in terms of fixing this is I want to show you what happens when the player has to race over to this side. They've got a lot of momentum and they try to stop their weight with that front foot in an attempt to hit the closed stance back cross court. Now we've got the device out called the dog sled. We use it all the time here at the academy. It's great for a lot of applications. Right now I'm using it to put a little pressure on Elizabeth. You can see just the slightest bit of pressure in that closed stance she's got has already got her falling off balance. This pressure represents what her natural body momentum would be doing if she raced from the center of the court over to this corner. So as I'm pushing like this, she can easily see the issues of balance. And when you lose balance and time by falling away like that, that's considered getting forced. And if you make an error from that, it's a forced error. Even if Liz doesn't lose her balance and fall out of this shot, she's still not in a very good position to take off towards the net and capitalize on opportunities she may create or to be able to recover back to center. Now we're gonna fix this by adjusting her stance to be able to deal with this pressure I'm putting on her with the dog sled and she's found a open stance to be able to be the best solution for this pressure and that's exactly where we want her. Now we're gonna show you how we can use the dog sled to teach her a new technique to replace that tendency to close off. Now that we've got Elizabeth's feet set up correctly for this shot, I'm going to have her do a load and lunge transfer step. The way this is gonna work is she's gonna hold that right leg back rather than planting it into a closed stance prior to the swing. We're gonna leave the leg back and time it with the swing. So at the follow through, she lands into a closed stance. That's a great solution for the problem we had. Show us an example of how this works, Liz. And you can see she can use that push off the left leg. I'm forcing her to take me on a stretch so that her body's getting to the ball and she can generate a good turn into this backhand. We'll do about 10 of these in a shadow situation and then let her try to do it when a ball's actually coming. Notice the backswing's a little bit limited here. We don't need to get it way back and actually the dog sled keeps you from taking too big of a backswing anyway. She has to get me to that ball. She's got to set her feet up right to get a good lunge towards that and stretch this core to get me to go with her. That's good, posture up Liz and a good turn. Bang, ooh, saved a tough one. This is a very powerful move, and when you show it to the kids, they really don't miss hitting from that closed stance anymore. That's a great replacement that produces wonderfully for them. And she can build the recoveries in so easily off of this open stance setup. So the dog sled's a great way to fix that problem with the two-handed closed stance, and it needs fixing. Not only does it limit your shot selection, it can also put a lot of added torque to different parts of your body and cause injury. So start working on it. We're gonna show you next another application of the dog sled you're gonna love.